Hajra, čak ići to vab. Čak ići to vab. Oh. <laughs> skip spring went straight into summer. <laughs> See how long this lasts, but gonna enjoy it while it does. Third century Roman relief of a goddess with a leaf in Aquincum. Yes, indeed, the Romans were here in Aquincum. Oh, how yin you do. How devilishly divine. On the edge of the Varos Mayor. Oh, we're heading to Budakasi. We're protected, we're safe, we're fired up. We are ready to go. This right here is very special. On the Silagi Erzibet Fashor, as we head into the Pasharates, one of Budapest's loveliest and most desirable neighborhoods. And this Raoul Wallenberg was a Swedish diplomat who saved so many lives in those tragic, horrible years of Holocaust. What a man to stand up when others wouldn't or couldn't. So we just got up the first part of the incline here as we make our way out to Budakesi. And we have some fascinating history to talk about. In the second district, you can see this neighborhood is called Kurutslash, and this is Kurutz Utsa, Kurutz Kurutz. Who were the Kurutz? You probably know, right? They were the fighting men of Rakotsi Ferenc II, Mashadik Frankie Rankotz, as I sometimes call him. And they were fighting against the Habsburg monarchy and the Labans. It was Labansok and Kurutsuk. Kurutsuk, Kurutsek, Nemtodom. And here we can see the Tsimere, the three trees, the three crosses of the second district. Actually, they renamed this. It used to be called like Maxengraben or something, this hill, because there was vineyards on all these hills in Buda. And in 1847, right before the War of Independence, they had a rechristening of the vineyards. It was a big symbolic note to make them modyar, modyarization. And that's where Kurutslesh took its name. All right, well, we are about to leave civilization and head up into the hills and then down into Budakesi. I'm also just about coming to the realization that I'm gonna have to go back all the way to Leonfalo. Oof, <laughs> doesn't come easy, does it? All right, let's see. Wow, look at all the animals you can see around here. Might be a good day for hawk spotting, who knows? Following in the footsteps of the legends. It's truly remarkable to think that we are within a major European capital right now. The amount of greenery and hills and beauty that exist in touching distance. A bountiful city, a voluptuous city, Budapest. It's significantly steeper incline than I imagined. Whew, getting a good workout. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. You lost name. It's the children's train. The Giermek Bashut. A train that is run entirely by children. Look at them go. Nice work. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Willie, not no influencer, Chuck. Uh, video. Yeah, I heard about you. Nice. What's your name? My name is Max. Max? Yeah. All right. Great work on the children's train. Thank you very much. You're doing well. Hello. What a great tradition. This stop here is Seip Juhasne. And there's a legend about Seip Juhasne. Juhas is like a sort of shepherd for a U, which is a U, E W E in, in English, and uh, J U H in Hungarian. Anyway, long story short, something with uh, Matyas Kirai and a beautiful shepherdess. And now we have the Seip Juhasne buffet and the children's train. And we shall once and for all head down into Budakesi. All right, well, it looks like we made it to the top of Budakesi. We can see here this bell statue of sorts. 
and there the ancient Hungarian ruins. Interesting. And now we head down into the town proper. So we've made it here to this lovely little stretch of gardenscape, this upper garden section. Budakesi down on the back side of the Buddha Hills. Not sure what to expect. Not sure what we're gonna find. You get the sense that this is a religious town. That's the third Jesus I've seen since coming down from the peak. And we begin to get a feel for old Budakesi when mills would have run through the town. And there is a Yatso Ter, a modern day playground. And here we see Naj Gashbar, a poet. Must be a local legend of sorts. Never heard of the guy. Was Albert in his Dis Major. And this here appears to be St. Istvan, King Stephen. And some locals hanging out. What's this book? What do we got? Zachariah Lajos, Budakesi Vilamoshi Tashaban, Eshafu Utsa Pakoshi Tashaban, Elet Elevu Hetetlan, Edamelit. Cool. That guy's got terrific swag. Love to see it. Check out this for a Reformatush Templo. I've never seen such a thing. I've never seen such a thing as this. Interesting design, it must get great natural light through those panels. I don't hate it, I mean it's bizarre, but I definitely don't hate it. Yeah, okay, quite a juxtaposition. Right here wedged in the center of Main Street, this Reformatush Templo. As we head further down into Murder Castle. Look at that. 1886. Peretz, take shake. And there we can see the Katholikus Templo. Varoshaza, this is City Hall. A fairly nondescript building. And that is the Budakesi Tsimere. That original church that once was made out of stone. We can get a closer look right up here. Okay, here we go. There you can see it. Budakesi Tsimere. Fortuitous timing. As the church bell lets out its, what is that, five o'clock clang. Or no, that must be 445. Oh, and look inside here. At an old school Budakesi dwelling. All right, we gotta put our bike away. We gotta put our bike away, wow. Is that a Confederate flag? What the hell? <laughs> Okay. Wow, what a scrumptious little side garden this is. Oh, and here, these must be, next to the Patak, this must be the original stone church that we just saw in the Tsimere. Let's go explore in here a little bit. How artfully manicured. Oh yes. A sumptuous and scintillating spring scene here. In Budakesi. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. Here we are. This must have been the original church, which is now memorialized in the Tsimere. Nope, no information. This church, this yellow one, was built in like the 1760s. That's what I assumed. I mean, this is peak Maria Therese uh, Baroque era. Peak Maria Therese. Um, but anyway, yeah. There was a medieval church that they excavated, I think in 1997. They used to stand here. Okay. There we go. Uh, we continue to empty out down here into the Budakesi Basin, a gradual and impossibly long descent. <laughs> we still have to do it in reverse, remember that. And this town shares so much in common with other old, Schwabian villages, the Schwabok, they love building on these vertical lines with the long houses spreading out. And Budakesi, it was for many years, 
a very Schwabok place. It may still be today. A mixed city, as so many were back during the monarchy years. And here we can see the Varoshi Piats of Budakesi. On Saturday and Sunday, this place will erupt into a cacophony of selling and buying and frolicking and reuniting. In its off hours, it serves a purpose of a different kind. Oh, how lovely and tranquil Budakesi here. Just admire these fusfa, these willow trees. How long have they grown here? How long since they've taken root? A nice place to raise a family, this little enclave of Budakesi. I'm feeling a wee bit peckish. I believe it is time to get some food and then turn around and make the long trek back to Leonfalu. Real quickly here, I just want to take a look at this classical design. It must have been built, I don't know, maybe a little bit after the church, but in a similar pattern. Wow. They don't make them like they used to, do they? Those old schools. Really, they prioritized education above many things back then. A slight shame we don't do so today. And look over here on Viragvuld. <laughs> Flower Valley Street. Viragvuld Jutsa. At the old buildings. Oh, this must have been. This must have been quite the scene back in, let's say, the 18th, 19th centuries. Oh, wow. I've never seen that before. Old school. Wish this was open. But I'm glad it once was all the same. Oh, the aesthetics. The aesthetics and historical Budakasi. Oh, and look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Feel it. And now we return to the plentiful green of the Pilish Park Edu with all of these forested trails into the hills and back towards Budapest. But where is this restaurant? I believe we're getting close, but it does not reveal its face. All right, so I finally found the place. 73, oh my God. 73 Rakoti. And it says that there's this phenomenal restaurant here, but it must be closed. I tried calling them. No dice. Oh well. Oh. It's quite a different situation we find ourselves in. I thought we were going to be at the tail end of a big feast, but it is getting dark. So let's pop by a local Kochma, have a sip, and then head back to Budapest. Sorka Bika. A legjobb kocsma Budakesiben. De lent van milyen kémód? Budakesi út. De ki van írva? Aki ismerős, abban elmész megismerni az utat, az oké. De egyedül... Aha. Holnap reggel itt találkozunk. Oké. Arra. Nem a legrosszabb. Gyere vissza. Ah, jó. Jó, ha nem olyan nagy az erdő, tehát visszajössz. Sziasztok, köszi szépen. Jó után. Jó után. Ah, talán visszajövök reggelit. Oké, gyere. Gyere, jövök. All right, well, those guys basically told me do not go this way <laughs> through the forest, but I cannot resist. I cannot resist. They said I'm going to get lost. We'll see. We'll see about that. Light is fading, but we're going to do it because... It looks delectable, absolutely delectable. Oh, Budakesi, what a sumptuous oasis. How blessed, how lucky we are. I can see why those guys said not to come this way though, because whew, it is not really a path. But we're gonna take it and we're gonna go through it. Sunlight is dropping. We're heading to the Janos Hedge, over Nomafa, into Budapest, back to Leonfalu. This is a marathon, baby. Holy shit. This is a little bit crazy. A little bit lunatic. Oh, yes. 
walking though. This bike, so heavy. Okay, here we go. You can do it. You can do it. That. Hayra, chuck each toe up. Chuck each toe up. Okay, well, this is a good sign. We got the children's train. Which station is this? My phone's dead, so we gotta rely on intuition. This is Janos Edge. All right, so up there is the Janos Edge Kilato. The Empress Sisi lookout. Should we just go there? And then, uh, maybe. I believe it's the highest point in Budapest. <sighs> Making our way downtown. Da, da, da. I don't know the words to this song. Da, da, da. No, I don't. We're going up to the Janos Edge. Kilato, oh, oh, and Precisi, whoa. Here we are on the Fessy Float. Beatty Cleese Tunk, Beatty Cleese Tunk, a fair Utsa. Oh, oh yes. goodness me. The timing is almost too good to be true. At the Empress Sisi, Hergebet Kilato, and the sun is about to dip down for the day. Oh, yes, look at it. Illuminated in the evening splendor. Hello. All right, that's all she wrote. Peace. Hűseik még köztünk élnek, 